Hi guys, welcome back again sa aking channel and today I'll be discussing about the caregiving topics or lessons. We have here vital signs so we need to check our patient's vital signs in order us to identify if he or she is in good condition. So uh, by the way guys, isi-share ko pala that another term for vital signs is cardinal signs. So that is other term. If ever na yung assessor sa TESDA mag-ask if ano yung ibang term sa vital signs, then you will be answer cardinal signs. So vital signs topic, so meron dyang uh, body temperature, yung pulse rate, yung uh, blood pressure uh, respiratory rate ayan so factors affecting vital signs tayo so ano nga ba yung mga factors that affects the vital signs so we have here activity disease condition age, medication diet and hormones so for activity syempre maka-affect yung vital signs checking if you are from jogging, you are from exercising, or if you are in smoking. So, in order to check or before checking the vital sign of the patient, you have to wait 5 to 10 minutes if galing nag-exercise. And smoke po, that is 10 to 15 minutes after. Ayan. So, um, if ever na you have this 120 over 80 um, mmhg, that is the disease condition. So, it should be uh, below 120 or just 80 or below 80 yung rate to get the normal uh, blood pressure. So, age, ayan, makaka-affect din yan pag uh, matatanda na, ayan so, ang temperature then is low, like yung sa mga elder people then, makaka-affect din siya if may uh, medication or merong iniinom na mga gamot so, most likely yung sleeping pills, it really pump your heart faster, so, ayan yung, mag yung mga next sleeping pills, hindi po yan so, yung diet and hormones. Okay, so let's proceed to vital signs taking. So, how are you going to perform if ever you will be uh, taking uh, the patient's uh, vital signs? So, first you have to introduce yourself. You will say, uh, good day sir ma'am, my name is Irish and I'll be checking your vital signs today. So, in order to have the correct uh, platform of your uh, vital signs uh, checking, you need to have a piece of paper and you will have to put the name of the patient as well. So, there is temperature or body temperature, the pulse, respiration, blood pressure, and please don't forget po sa pain assessment. So, for the first one, body temperature, you will have to check um, if it is 36.5 to 37.7 degrees Celsius normal. So, if ever that you get uh, 36.6, then you will have to say your body temperature, sir, is 36.6 degrees Celsius. So, degrees Celsius po ang ating gagamitin sa pagme-measure ng body temperature. If ever you had 37.8 degrees Celsius, then you will have a fever na. Okay? So, meron ding sa Fahrenheit. So, um, for Fahrenheit pala, 96.8 until 98.6 is the normal range for Fahrenheit. So, sa body temperature po yan. Okay, so let's proceed sa pulse. By the way guys, for pulse rate, it is also called cardiac 
and heart rate. And by the way, um, the normal pulse rate for that is 60 to 100 BPM. So, ano po yung BPM? So, BPM po is the measurement of getting the pulse rate, which means beats per minute. Okay. And uh, we have the normal heart rate sounds of S1 and S2, meaning it sounds like lub dub, lub dub. Okay. When you are checking his or her heart rate sounds okay so let's proceed to respiration or respiratory rate so uh ano po yung normal ng respiration or respiratory rate so that is 16 until 20 cpm so ano po yung measurement na cpm that stands for cycle per minute okay all right so let's uh proceed to blood pressure so blood pressure meron yung systolic yung sa itaas and the bottom po, po is diastolic so ano po yung no normal range ng uh, blood pressure that is from i guess 100 over 70 or pag kasi 120 over 180 that's already a disease problem or merong disease condition ano po yung gagamitin na measurement for blood pressure that is MMHG ano po yung MMHG that would be stand for millimeter mercury okay so please don't forget that if ever magtitake ka po ng blood pressure sa patient mo so meron ding patient na it doesn't mind what ano ba yung MMHG, at least you will know for those caregivers aspirant. And the, the last but not the least, you will be asking the pain assessment. So, you will be asking if may masakit ba sa katawan or if not. If yes, then you will have to ask kaano kasakit po or yung tinatawag nating pain scale.
Uh, just to verify, your name is Jeff Bacolod. Ma'am. And your age is 22 years old. Yes, ma'am. First, ang uh, unahin kong i-check sa iyo is yung body temperature natin. So, meron tayong digital thermometer, which is yung ganito. Okay. Yan. So, wait lang po natin ng 2 minutes or kung kailan siya mag uh, beep sound. Nag-deep so, sound na siya. Okay, tamang-tama. Your temperature is 36.6 degrees Celsius. So, next po natin is yung pulse rate. Ngayon po, sir, itatanong ko po if meron po bang masakit po sa inyong katawan? Wala naman po, ma'am. Ah, okay po. Sige po, marami pong salamat. At um, stay healthy po tayo at proper exercise, sir, ha? Salamat din, ma'am. Okay po, thank you so much. Yan po ang pag-check ko po ng vital signs ng isang pasyente. Maraming salamat po.